Ahmed and Israel, um, we asked Kareen, not me, I wasn't here yesterday, but my colleagues asked Kareen uh, in many different ways about the president's recent comments with regard to Netanyahu not doing enough to secure a ceasefire deal. So my question is whether he has directly expressed that himself to Netanyahu, that he is not doing enough. I would say that the conversations with the prime minister every time uh, they occur are very direct and very forthright. Uh, these are these are two guys that know each other well, and uh, the president um, he makes his concerns uh, very plainly known. But for all the things that those two gents may not agree on politically, and maybe not even completely agree on in the conduct of the war, they do agree on the central tenet that. Israel needs to be defended, that the Israeli people shouldn't have to live next door to that kind of a threat, and that the United States and President Biden specifically is going to continue to stand with Israel as they defend themselves against this threat um, and to do everything that we can uh, to try to bring this conflict to a close. And then one quick one, just for clarification, because a lot of continues to happen on this front. When the president is calling for a ceasefire, does he mean a permanent ceasefire at this point, or does he mean one long enough to allow the hostages to be released? Well, it's a little bit of both. I mean, the, the, the ceasefire that we're really trying to drive out right now is getting to phase one, which gets you six weeks of no fighting. Six weeks of no fighting, and that means more humanitarian assistance and then getting up, at least the first tranche of hostages out, the ones that are at the most risk, elderly, sick, uh, women in particular. But if you can get through phase one, because once you get into phase one, and that's the goal, just let us get to phase one right now, then you can start building towards phase two. And if you can get to phase two, you can get both sides to phase two, well, then you're talking about a, a real potential end to the hostilities in general, which, of course, will be a general ceasefire. So what we're focused on right now is phase one. That's a six-week ceasefire. Thank you. Yes, ma'am.